Hey there, this is just going to be a really really quick video just showing you how to edit GIFs, so say change the size of them, but instead of using just uh, just using Photoshop, we're going to have to also use Adobe After Effects. So first of all you need to have your file. Now these are my two files here, Pink Piggy and Pink Piggy Small. This one is the one that I did earlier to check that this all worked. This is one that I'm going to resize, so if I show you what they look like at the moment, this is the one I'm going to be resizing. It scrolls through our little logo, but it's kind of big for what I want it to do. This is a small one. This already is small enough, but I'm now going to show you how to do it. So if I come out of that. Now, you need to first of all take the big one, which is this one here, and open up Adobe After Effects, which I've done now. Then go to the images. And you're just going to drag and drop into this box over in the top left so the bit under the name underneath the project not in the middle bit not down the bottom at the top here and then release so now you have it the quicktime file which is a gif in the palette so now we're going to move it into the timeline which is down the bottom here so you're dragging and dropping again and then release and now you see a picture of what we're going to be doing if you want to go over to the current time indicator and just scroll it across it will show that it's working. Now at the moment this is far too big for what we want so what we've got to do is we've got to go over to composition at the top left here click on composition and then click on composition settings. Now here you see a box comes up with the composition name and the basic information. We're just going to stick with the basic information because all I'm going to do is change the sizing of this. So I'm going to make this go all the way down to 250 that's what I need for this job to 130 pixels now these are in pixels now a quicker way to do it is just to click on sorry just to hover over the top of it and then move your bar to and fro by clicking but I prefer to do it the exact method otherwise you've got to spend ages of realigning now I'm going to have it in square pixels my frame rate I want it to be 14 frames per second and I want the resolution to be full so it's going to be 250 by 130 which is 126 kilobytes per 8 can't read that last little bit BCP, um, BPC frame okay so the start time is on zero the duration is 28 seconds for this okay remember you need to work it out so that you do not have over 500 frames otherwise you won't be able to open it in Photoshop properly so click OK now it's resized it as you can see we can only see a little tiny bit of the pink piggy logo so what we've got to do is we've just got to treat it as if it's an image in Photoshop and we've got the transitional um, abilities opened so we're just going to drag it over to the corner so we've got that little dot up in the top left hand corner here now we go down to the bottom right and we drag it all the way in we've got to resize it into the middle okay then you've just got to play with it I'm going to put it forward so that I can see everything so I know that it will fit. See as I do that I notice it won't fit in. Okay. So there we go. It's all nice and cozy in place now. So now if I scroll through it shouldn't have anything outside of that box. Wonderful. Now the next bit is exactly the same as in the video when you have to edit it yourself. You go up to file sorry you got a composition you go to pre-render you go down to the bottom here you click on output mode you wait for it to open and I've clicked on the custom so it immediately comes up with that with the format I want the format to be for quick time because that is the same as what we're gonna find is used for GIF and then all the other settings I'm going to leave you can also resize it here just to let you know so you can actually just save all that bother just go straight to render and then click on resize but it'll make the rendering a little bit longer okay and also if you resize that could crop out quite a bit of the picture and you won't be able to re uh, size it into that little box so click OK now you need to, I'm going to change the name because otherwise it's gonna make that name um, obsolete and I'm gonna place it within my website area Okay, so this is where it's going to go, and I'm going to call it Pink Piggy Video Tester. Okay, and save. 
So this is going to be rendering now uh, when we click render. So we click render and then you're going to see it going across the bottom here. It's relatively fast because we've made it a lot smaller. It's going to be a lot quicker than when I showed you in the previous video. So now we're immediately going to see it coming up in that folder as soon as this is finished rendering. Okay, now it's finished rendering and it makes a little noise. We can click on images and then we should immediately find that we got the test video. Now it comes up as a video file so you cannot drag and drop this into Photoshop. Now we're in Photoshop and we will find that if we look at file and then click at import and then go down to video frames to layers. Okay, so now we go to the file that we were in and we look down and we will see that there is a video right there click on it and it open this may take a couple of seconds to load this little box just check that it is all there and that it is moving and you haven't somehow lost your way along the line and then it goes back to the beginning so we click OK and then continue this is a large f file and possibly take up to a long time yes we know OK process it's making the layers now we're just using Photoshop literally as a way to get it from uh, from Adobe After Effects to go into uh, in into a GIF so we're not actually going to edit it at all in this software we're just going to literally highlight all the bottom like I just did go to file save for web check that everything's okay so the GIF, sensitivity, diffusion, transparency yes that's all okay I cover all of that in the previous video and then just click save now it will tell you what you want to save it as so I'm going to call it Pink Piggy and I'm going to call it YouTube video and then click save And you can see it's rendering, it's literally, it's already done, that's how quick it is um, when it's this size. Images, and you will find that it's Pink Piggy YouTube video, double click on it, and it should open in your browser. Okay, for some reason it always seems to open in Internet Explorer for me. And, just give it a couple seconds, and there we go, we see the pig, and a second pig and then we're going for the dot .co.uk, wonderful, so I'll just let that play through just for a couple of seconds and there you go, right I'll come out of this so just to recap, all you need to have is have Adobe uh, After Effects, Adobe Photoshop and be able to see this video, so hope that's helped you and goodbye from me at Pink Piggy